What's up, OMG Nation? What a week, what a week. So this week, I decided to trade in my Jaguar for the simple reason, the services, the price of the services, the price of any repairs are killing me. It's just ridiculous. You know, um, I had an alternator go out. Well, I had the alternator go out, I guess. And when they told me how much it was gonna be, it was $2,400. And I was like, for an alternator? And um, then I started thinking, oh, my foot just slid on that, look at that, woo! That's what I get for wearing bright yellow tennis shoes on my Harley. So I, I just kind of was curious and I called up a buddy of mine that works at a dealership and, and he's a mechanic with a, a Chevy dealership. And, and I said, out of curiosity, what would this run if I owned a Chevy truck? It wouldn't even have cost me half of what it costs to get the alternator replaced. So after I sat there and, and crunched some numbers, I decided, you know what? It's time for me to move on. I've been in luxury vehicles for a pretty good while now. I've had Cadillacs. I had a Bentley with a business partner at one time. I had a G-Wagon. I had this Jaguar and I just, I'm at this point, for some reason, I am over that. And I just kind of, uh, I'm not gonna tell you yet what I got, but I did purchase a new vehicle. I traded it in the Jag and got rid of it. Kind of miss it a little bit, but at the same time, I was ready for it to go or I wouldn't have done it. I'm just like you guys, I dislike the car buying process. And I used to work in a car dealership, so I know how to navigate through all that stuff, you know. Uh, and how to navigate through your trade, your price of your trade that they're you're trying to get from them, the price you want to pay for their vehicle. And then there's one thing that a lot of folks don't realize is when you get in the finance office, there's something called a buy rate. You got to navigate through that as well. And what that is, if you don't understand a buy rate, you can look it up, internet, search it. And basically the bank says, hey, let's just throw out a number. Let's say they were going to say 3.9. We're going to give you 3.9. Well, the dealership always cranks it up a couple of points. So they make money on the back end. I tell you, somebody's channel that I was watching the other day that explains a lot of that stuff is the Chevy dude. I think he works at a Chevy dealership and he uh, he seems to give you a lot of that information, which I'm really surprised that they allow him to do that. You know, most dealerships have a lot of tricks that they do. <laughs> and I would say that probably even carries over into um, motorcycle dealerships. There's a lot of tricks that they do to make money where instead of being completely honest with you and transparent with you saying hey this is what we pay with our vehicle this is the profit that we're making this is what we're going to give you on the buy rate on your loan this is how many points we cranked it instead of telling you all that they make you they try to kind of be a little dishonest and say oh man we gave you the best deal we're losing money on this deal so if you hear that you can guarantee <laughs> thunder you can guarantee you're getting it. <laughs> if you're sitting in there and any of them say, we're, we're losing money on this. Uh, I got a phone call to close that out. We're losing money on this deal. Yep, you're getting it. If there's something you guys would like to see. What up, brother? Something you guys would like me to discuss on my channel. Let me know down in the comments. Hit that like button. Do not forget to dis describe. No, do not forget to subscribe. I said <laughs> subscribe. Wow. Yeah, I'm going to put that on there. I'm just going to go with that. Hey, ducks. Oh, yeah. I'm going to put a video here and here. Bing. Subscribe. 